the various attempts at this challenge, I had figured out in my head at checkpoints that I would need to have passed certain cars by, so for example, this corner here. If I hadn't beaten the A45, by the time I got around the corner, I knew I wasn't going to complete the challenge. It's the exact same for these two corners here. If I hadn't got around the white A45, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to have the route on track to be able to get round and then overtake the other two cars. This track is very similar to the first challenge in a sense that I set myself checkpoints to get past certain cars by. If I hadn't got around them, I knew I wasn't going to be able to beat first and second place in this race because those two cars are so much faster than the, than the other ones. The first checkpoint that I'd set myself is getting around this gold M4 by this corner. One thing that's really important to note for this challenge in particular is that you will make up so much time in the second sector of the track therefore it's really important to be clean and fast and get past the cars as quickly as possible otherwise they will end up slowing you down and you won't be able to reach the front two cars in time. Another checkpoint that I had set myself is to get past this Corvette C7 by the time I'd got to the uphill braking point at the top of the bridge.
as I'm approaching this final breaking point, I'm aware that this Ford GT is a lot faster than I am. So give him just a little bump, just to set him off track a little bit and give me that extra, extra time just to get away. It is a good job that I gave him a little bump because as you can see in the top left, he's actually gaining on me. And as we are racing to the line, it actually becomes a really, really close contest. This drag race is a fantastic race in my opinion, mostly because you can choose any car you want. So what I did was I chose the fastest car that I had, which was the Super Formula car. And as you can imagine, it wasn't much of a contest. There are many different strategies you can adopt for this fuel uh, saving one. Uh, the option that I opted for was to turn the fuel map all the way up to 6 to be as lean as possible and then I would hold it around 30 miles an hour in the highest gear that I could. This is because the lower revs you have, the more fuel you will save. I think it also goes without saying as well that when you're going down the hill, there's no need to use the accelerator, you can just coast your way down it. I have sped up these parts because what's the point in watching me coast down a hill using no throttle?
as we can see coming onto the back straight now I've got about 33% left of fuel so if I wanted to I could have just absolutely bombed it to the line however I decided to see if I could get to four miles And as you can see, I got just past four miles. So you do have a bit of leeway in terms of the amount of fuel you need to save to get to the 3.34 miles. What I found useful for this challenge was to drop down to second gear, start the drift early and just try to maintain it as best you can. This challenge is it's pretty self-explanatory, all you need to do is, is win the race, it's not too hard if you are familiar with the Daytona track. The car and the track complement each other really well, so it, this was actually a really enjoyable one. The trick to getting gold in this one is, again, just to use the slipstream and you should be fine. So what you need to remember for this challenge is when you're starting off to not change gear too early because the revs will drop back down and then gradually increase before you should shift up to second gear. Again, this was another race where I had thought up checkpoints in my head to get past certain cars by so for example that Mazda I needed to have got past it by the hard right hander here and I had needed to get past the Mazda RX-8 by this sweeping left hander here Approaching the breaking point, we're going to use the orange sign here as our breaking point. One important factor is getting past this Mazda before the top of the hill, as it can be quite difficult in trying to manoeuvre yourself around the Mazda at this point in the circuit.
once you have achieved all bronze in the challenges, you will receive a Mustang Group 4 car. And once you achieve all gold in the challenges, you will receive a Corvette Group 3 car as well.